How can one organic strawberry change an entire rural region in Mexico? Can a model that uses no pesticides, no chemicals, actually export to the US, Germany, Canada? And if you think agricultural technology is only for wealthy countries, wait until you see what's happening here. Welcome to Michoacan, a region once familiar with precarious harvests, now emerging as a new symbol of smart agriculture in Mexico. An organic strawberry farm that is not just clean, but can also export globally, operates with technology, and helps an entire community change their lives. So what allows this place to achieve what many countries are still dreaming of? Stay until the end of the video. You will see how they grow strawberries without soil, without chemicals, and can still compete in the US and European markets, and how this small-scale model built a clean, sustainable, modern agricultural ecosystem. Because this isn't just a cool story about strawberries. It's an example of the future that local agriculture can absolutely reach. Every sustainable agricultural journey starts with something simple, the variety. Here, farmers don't choose varieties by habit, but by data. Albion and Monterey, two strawberry varieties with high yields, good heat tolerance, suitable for Michoacan's subtropical climate. But that's just the beginning. No fields, no alluvial soil, no chemicals of any kind are mixed into the growing medium. So where and how do they grow them? Each strawberry plant is sown in a mixture of coconut fiber and perlite, inside a closed-loop hydroponic system, where water, nutrients, and oxygen are continuously circulated. This system helps save up to 70% of water compared to traditional farming models. A crucial advantage in a climate like Michoacan, which has a lot of sun and little rain. But the difference maker isn't just in the growing racks. Each strawberry tray, each cluster of plants, is equipped with microclimate sensors, measuring growing medium moisture, checking light and nutrient levels, giving early warnings for pH imbalances, root rot, or oxygen deficiency. Data from thousands of sensors is sent to the management center via an IoT system, and the manager only needs a smartphone to monitor the entire farm. And can you guess what makes this model even more interesting? And how does every single berry meet standards without needing chemicals? In the next part, we will step into a world where every single strawberry is cared for like gold. Here, farming is no longer labor, but science. Are you ready for this journey? Each strawberry is not just agricultural produce, but the result of precise calculation, as gentle as a laboratory procedure. Each strawberry tray is controlled individually, with watering schedules, lighting schedules, and nutrient feeding cycles fully coordinated by internal AI. If it's overcast that day, the system will increase the red light spectrum to stimulate photosynthesis. If humidity is too high, an automatic alert will reduce watering, preventing root fungus. Temperature exceeding the limit? The greenhouse roofs will close, providing shade and creating convection. All of that requires just a smartphone to monitor and adjust. Here, farmers are not farming with their hands. They are programming strawberries every day, every hour. But caring for strawberries here isn't just about technology. It's also an art of natural cultivation. No spraying chemicals, no artificial substances. Ladybugs, parasitic wasps, and antagonistic fungi are bred and released periodically like silent bodyguards. They eliminate pests, control diseases, without needing a single drop of pesticide. The plants live within a self-balancing ecosystem, where humans only play the role of architects. Fertilizer? It doesn't come from a factory, but from what nature leaves behind. It comes from local organic sources. Plant waste, straw, microbial yeast fermented in sealed tanks, and tested with a microbial meter to ensure beneficial bacteria always dominate. Only when the amount of beneficial bacteria meets the standard is fertilizer allowed to be applied. Because here, fertilizing isn't to feed the plants, but to feed the soil. Here, 
you won't see farmers holding sprayers or hoes. Instead, there are leaf temperature meters, pH sensors, sweetness tracking boards, and perhaps the most memorable shots are the moments when a farmer gently lifts a leaf, reaching out to support a ripe red strawberry under the sunlight. Each strawberry ripens uniformly thanks to sunlight, natural care, and continuous monitoring. No ripening agents, no artificial preservatives, no forced production processes. Here the plants grow according to their own biological rhythm, but are supported by human understanding. And when the fruit meets the standard, sweet, firm, deep red, they will embark on another journey. The journey of being processed, preserved, and transported without losing any of their freshness. Do you wonder, how does every strawberry reach the consumer feeling as though it was just picked from the vine? When a strawberry has reached perfect ripeness, plump, deep red, with sweetness peaking according to its sugar level, the harvesting process begins. But not in the way you might imagine. Each fruit is picked manually by hand, but not indiscriminately. Farm staff are trained to recognize the standard ripeness with their eyes and the feel of their fingers. The red color must be uniform from the stem to the tip, just soft enough so it doesn't bruise easily. And notably, the natural light reflection on the skin, which helps differentiate whether the fruit has reached its sugar point or not. After picking, each berry is immediately placed into a bruise-resistant foam tray, arranged stem up. There are no intermediate steps, no pre-washing phase, because immediately after, they will enter a race against time. Within two hours of harvest, all the strawberries are taken to cold storage below 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature is the sweet spot for keeping strawberries from losing water, from changing color, and from starting the oxidation process. Right in the storage facility, the trays are checked for color, and sugar content is measured using a spectrometer. But the cold storage here isn't just a place for keeping things. It's the first quality control station. Only berries that meet the standards for sweetness, firmness, and uniform color are moved on to the packaging stage. And here's what's special. The packaging process takes place entirely in a clean area. The packaging machines use technology for light vacuum sealing, deep freezing to preserve cell structure and flavor. Thanks to this, the strawberries can maintain their freshness for up to 10 days without needing preservatives. Each box of strawberries is tagged with a QR code from the time of harvest, storage location, processing area, production batch. This allows for precise traceability all the way back to the person who did the final check on the berry. But do you think the journey ends here? Not yet. Because after packaging, these strawberries will cross borders, traveling to supermarkets in Canada, restaurants in Germany, or dining tables in the US. Before embarking on this journey, we will discover something that these trays of strawberries don't show on their labels. And that's the part that surprises the whole world. A modern, sustainable community model. A strawberry processed with precision down to every degree of cold, every layer of skin, every packaged box. But what makes this model special? isn't just in the process, it's in who is behind all those steps. In Michoacan, strawberries are not just an export product, they are a bridge between technology and community. But what makes this model special is not in the technology, it's in how many organizations are quietly helping small-scale farmers take ownership of their farming future like the Madre Tierra program, providing technical training for strawberry farmers in Michoacan. They receive free training, learning how to operate sensors, check crop data, and use technology to manage harvests. Or like the Optimal Berry Cooperative, where workers are not just strawberry pickers, 
but also a part of the quality management system. This is not the story of a factory. It is a story of belief that modern agriculture doesn't just belong to machines, but also to the community if given the right tools. The air in the greenhouse is no longer just a place to grow plants. It is a place to sow hope and keep people connected to the land. This is no longer old-style agriculture, but a new kind of community agriculture, where data meets trust, where women and young people are not left out of the system. But how can a small model in rural Mexico be trusted by the world? How can these red strawberries, even without a famous label, still be chosen in the US, in Canada, in Europe? You will find the answer in this cross-border journey of trust, transparency, and organic strawberry trays. From an organic farm in Michoacan, these strawberry trays don't just stay in the domestic market. They are appearing on supermarket shelves in Los Angeles, Toronto, Munich. This is not just a brand, it is a commitment. Commitment to clear origin. Each tray of strawberries has a QR code, traceable to the harvest day, processing batch, and even the name of the caregiver. Commitment to international standards. Organic according to USDA organic standards. Fair trade certified with the fair trade certified mark. And commitment to the environment. Greenhouse system uses solar energy. Water reuse and biodegradable packaging materials reduces electricity consumption by up to 40% and plastic waste by 30% compared to the previous model. And what is special? Customers don't buy strawberries just for their sweetness. They buy because they believe in the story behind each strawberry. In a world weary of industrialized food, this model proves that clean, transparent, and ethical agriculture is not just an ideal. It is a viable option that can stand strong in the global market. But the most significant thing is not the number of strawberries sold. It is the trust that is being sown back for consumers, for farmers, and for the future of agriculture in seemingly forgotten lands. And the final question is posed. If a small farm in Mexico can do that, then how many other communities around the world can do the same if given access to the right technology, the right belief, and the right opportunity? A strawberry, it's small, but if grown correctly in a decent, transparent, and sustainable ecosystem, then it's not just delicious, but it can also touch the future of an entire community. In Michoacan, Mexico, we have just seen a clean farming process, soilless, chemical-free, a management system using data, technology, and automation, and most importantly, a way to build agriculture that excludes no one whether they are young people, women, or from a poor rural area. What makes this model special is that it doesn't need to copy the model of wealthy countries, but is writing its own path, step by step, one strawberry at a time. What do you think? In the future, could every agricultural product we buy carry such a beautiful story? And if you believe that agriculture can create change, not just create products, please share this video, not just to spread a model, but to spread the belief that clean, modern, humane agriculture can start anywhere, whether it's a small village in Mexico or right where you live. Thank you for following until the end of the journey. Please subscribe to the channel to not miss the next agricultural exploration stories where every land has a miracle waiting to be told.